Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This of course is another episode of Did I Paint the Wall Behind Me? Or did I move? Everybody go ahead and leave your answers in the comments below. I'm gonna pick the best one and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay guys, today we're gonna be doing a subreddit video. It's no surprise that I haven't done one in like friggin' four months, I think. I don't even remember the last time I did one. I haven't done one in a while, okay? I apologize. I think they just got a little bit repetitive, so I needed to take some time away, let the subreddit kind of reset. I was seeing a lot of the same kind of posts over and over, so hopefully we can get a little bit of variation in there now. We can get some original memes. We can get some interesting posts. Right off the bat, the first thing I'm seeing is pretty interesting. I gotta give them that. Biblically accurate Danny. I always forget this is how I'm described in the Bible. Yeah, I guess I'm just so used to how I look in real life, but this is how I looked back then. All these eyes and these sort of spinning strips of texts around me, just sort of orbiting me like the rings of Saturn. Yeah, I forget how terrifying I used to be back then. Be not a Craig. It's my favorite quote from the Bible. He's always watching. He knows if you Googled what's the fastest growing army on YouTube. Yeah, that's why I have so many eyes, actually. I have one for every Greg, and there's always one watching you. That's how I know, and I know that you did. Amanda. Amanda. Oh, so I guess it's a thing lately to Photoshop like different versions of me. So we got biblically accurate Danny and then down here there's new Danny dropped hipster Danny, smooth Danny. Kind of thought I was already pretty smooth, but I guess I, you know, there's always room for improvement. Guys, Danny made a new Instagram. Daniel Gonzalez 52353344. Wanna bang me? Yeah, guys, this is my new Instagram. Daniel Gonzalez 52353344. I use Daniel because this is sort of more of a personal Instagram account. I'm not gonna be posting like all the memes and usual goofs that I usually post on Instagram. This is more for just personal stuff. So in my bio, I have wanna bang me and then a link that is a virus that you can download onto your computer. Dude, this is sick. Anime Danny doing a little goofing around. Okay. I'm digging the artwork. This is actually really sick. I mean, it's kind of terrifying, but stylistically, this is very cool. I drew Danny. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Dude, these are sick. A few more of my Dan art. Wow. Damn, that one straight up looks like a picture. This is some artwork of the darkest day of my life. A day that will live in infamy forever. And uh, then here's just me sitting on a bed, loving life. Yo, what is this? Wait, is this a real movie? Chopkick Panda and Friends? Dude, there's like a million different knockoffs in one movie. Oh wait, no, okay. It says four movies on one DVD, okay. I was like, dude, that would be insane. All of these knockoffs in one movie. Is this the kid from the What's Up movie? I think it is. I don't remember. But I know Marcel towing when I see him. Wait, so what are these other movies? Chopkick Panda. So that's actually not the one that I watched because I watched Little Panda Fighter. So I guess there's another Kung Fu Panda ripoff out there. And then maybe this is like Princess and the Frog. And then I think that's like Gumbo or whatever his name was from uh, What's Up. Excuse me while I look up my own video about What's <laughs> Up to know for sure. Um, Is that the kid? Yeah, I think it is. He's got the same hairstyle. I don't know why he has glasses. Dang, dude, I got to get my hands on this DVD. This is like sacred video lore. I haven't done a knockoff animated movie in a while. I should do one of those. Maybe I should figure out whatever this Princess and the Frog one is. That could be kind of fun. Me waiting for Danny's next Reddit video and it's a skeleton. Well, it's time to wake up, skeleton, and put your skin back on. Cause we're on the we're on the subreddit now, baby. Let's see what the comments have to say about this. You probably saw what y'all was posting and decided not to. What were they posting? I honestly haven't been on the subreddit that much in the past four months. Maybe I should be kind of glad about that now. Is is it just me or does that kind of look like Danny? No! I made a pizza of Danny's face. That pissed my dogs off. That picture pissed my dogs off, dude. I gotta go tell my dogs to calm down. Dude, I went to see what they were barking at and this image, this like weird bloody pizza face was hovering outside my window. Terrifying, dude. Oh good, they put toppings on it. Does anyone agree? First post, I don't know what I'm doing here. My favorite creators. And then they ranked a bunch of commentary creators. You can't rank perfection. Aww. And these people are all perfect in my book. So no, I do not agree. There is no winner, there is no loser. It's like picking a favorite child, dude. I can't do it. And these people are all my children. Why does Danny literally never age? I think he found the fountain of youth. Yeah, I saw a lot of discourse about this and I forget if I've talked about this in a subreddit video before, but this video of me from high school like keeps showing up on my current audience's For You page. Guess not For You page, just like 
home page on YouTube. I don't know what it's called on YouTube. This keeps getting recommended to people on YouTube. Yeah, it's a video from 11 years ago. It used to have like a few hundred views, I think, and now it has 1.8 million because it just like keeps recommending to my audience. And I guess my audience is watching, but yeah. I've seen a lot of comments saying like why Danny should address this or Danny should talk about it. To be honest with you, I kind of thought I already had. Maybe I haven't. Well, I'll talk about it just in case I haven't already talked about it. In high school, you know how you have like announcements at the end of the day? We had like a, every week, every Friday, there'd be like a video announcements. We had like a video production club at school that put together the video announcements. They were read like a newscast, a bunch of announcements, and then we would also like throw in little skits and sketches. So this is one of those sketches. That's why it's on a page called Falcon Weekly because we were the Falcons in high school. So yeah, that sort of explains it. And it's, yeah, it's just a funny little skit about things that nobody said at Wheaton North. Nobody but me, I guess. I was probably the first and last person to say any of these things at Wheaton North. It's a hoot. It's a holler. I don't know if you guys will think it's funny because you didn't go to Wheaton North 11 years ago, probably. But if you did, then you should watch this video, dude. There's some really relevant humor in here that you're gonna love. Danny dropped that skincare routine. Yeah, I see this comment a lot whenever people talk about how I look the same in older pictures. I really hate to say it, man, but it's just genetics. I don't even really wash my face, dude. I rinse my face in the shower and that's it. My advice is... I don't have any advice, honestly. That's probably not even a good idea. There's probably more I could be doing. I should probably moisturize my face or something, right? That's what people say you should do, but no, I don't do it. I am also going gray in my late 20s, so, you know, I don't know if you want my advice on... Not aging. I'll look my age in due time, don't worry. In fact, I think I'm probably gonna skip over looking my age ever. Cause right now I think I look a little bit younger than I am. But eventually I'm gonna go gray. And whenever you see someone with gray hair, you just assume that they're older, right? If you saw me, but with gray hair, you might think I was like 40. So if I go gray in a few years, I'm probably gonna skip over looking my age. And then I'm gonna look way older than I am. I feel like my commentary videos and my second channel videos are gonna be so weird someday when I have like completely gray hair. I feel like I act so goofy and wacky in some of these videos that some people are gonna click on and be like, is this dude like 50 years old? This is the wackiest old man I've ever seen. All right, let's watch some of this old video and see if I really haven't aged. Yeah, it was popular at the time to make videos like shit nobody says at whatever, or shit, you know, shit nobody says when they're hungry or whatever. So that's why we made this video. Actually, you know what? I forgot one critical thing about this video. I wasn't even in the Falcon Weekly when we made this video because I was in it my junior year of high school, and then I got kicked out right before our senior year because I goofed around too much. So I actually wasn't even in the Falcon Weekly when they made this video, but they just asked me to be in it, I think. So when I say that's why we made this video, I had no authority to make this video. I was not in the room coming up with the video idea. I was just there. So shout out to the actual Falcon Weekly that year. I haven't seen Mr. Vankus in a while. Calculus is really gonna come in handy later in life. Yeah, I have gum for all of you. I feel like my voice has gotten deeper, maybe? Or or maybe I just talk deeper. Could I talk like that if I wanted to? I haven't seen Mr. Vankus in a while. I haven't seen Mr. Vankus in a while. I feel, honestly, I sound like a fucking nerd, dude. I haven't seen Mr. Vankus in a while. Yeah, I have gum for all of you. Yeah, I have gum for all of you. I think I just talked higher back then. I actually do think that. I was also like skinnier, I think. Or maybe my like face has gotten wider, something like that. Generally, Though, haven't really aged. A lot of people in this video I'm still friends with to this day, dude. This is my friend Brian. This is Tim. You guys know Tim from my videos. Danny should react to this due to the fact that it's coming up on everyone's recommended eight years later. Oh, this comment was from two years ago. Yeah, see, this video has been getting recommended to my audience for literal years. Wow, okay, this one is kind of crazy. So this is me from eight years ago. This is a vine I made eight years ago. And then this is me now. Even my hair is the same. Okay, I do pretty much look the same in these two pictures. That's crazy. After all this time, www.tack tacklightmax.com? No way, there's a new tack light? A new tack light drop? Okay, I wanna watch this commercial and see if I can find it. But I should say, I know that I've, I've goofed on the tack products a bunch, okay? I know that I've razzed them, I've tested them, and I've said, you know, these aren't as great as they make them seem, but I will say, since I already bought the tack bat and I like had it laying around, I ended up like not throwing it away because I was like, it seems bad to just waste this. So I just had it laying around for a while. And then eventually I started wanting like a flashlight that I could use to look out in my backyard to make sure my dogs were, you know, 
peeing at night and not getting attacked by a coyote or something. So I started using the tack light because I just had it laying around or the tack bat, sorry. I was like, this is perfect, dude. I can make sure my dogs are okay outside. And then if they're not, if they're getting attacked by some wild animal, I can beat the shit out of it with this. So now by my back door, I have the tack bat there waiting and I use it almost every day. So I do have to give some props to Bell and Howell for designing the tack bat because I actually genuinely use it all the time. I think probably a regular flashlight would work just as well. And I do have to turn it down to its minimum brightness every time before I shine it anywhere near my dogs because I know that I would actually probably blind them if I shined it at them on its maximum brightness but on its lowest brightness it's actually fine and it works pretty well so there you go Bell and Howl thank you now let's look for this new tack light dude what is this called tack light max how can it get any more max than what they already have when it comes to technology our military reigns supreme they never use a flashlight with an inferior beam they do something like this is he saying they do or they would is he saying they use something like this or they'd use something like this they do something like this I think he's kind of trying to trick you here into thinking he says they use something like this. No, he's saying hypothetically, they'd probably use something like this. They could use something like this. We know damn well that Nick Bolton doesn't know what kind of flashlights they use. Lab certified at 50 times the brightness of regular flashlights. Well, they shined it into a mysterious orb, so it has to be good. Tack light Max can spotlight objects hundreds of feet away and be seen up to 10 nautical miles. 10 nautical miles? At what point is it too much light? The average person does not need this flashlight, dude. Are you insane? But even inside this giant slab of ice, the Tack Light Max keeps on working. What if it's actually called the Tack Light Max, not because it outputs more light than the other Tack Light, but just because they named it Max? There's a comma there. Yeah, this is the Tack Light Max. Yeah, the Tack Light Max is not short for Tack Light Maximum. It's short for Tack Light Maximilian. So, you know, we had to do it. I didn't know you had to do that. You know, because this thing outputs more light than the other one, we have to fucking run it over with a monster truck. Actually, if you gave me enough time, I probably would have guessed that because they do this shit at the end of every commercial you definitely don't want to try that with the regular flashlight and even though it's rugged and durable it's lightweight and easy to hold can you attack someone with it though what if my dog's getting eaten by a coyote please put this in terms of my dog my exact predicament i mean there's just nothing like it on the market today okay cool shit maybe i'll buy that i could do another tack light tack product testing video i would need more than just that but i would do another one a really bright flashlight actually does seem like something kind of fun to test y'all ever notice how when danny cut his hair he didn't smile until it grew back oh that's actually kind of true i didn't in real life either all right motherfuckers uh that's pretty much it for this subreddit video thank you guys for watching please Head on over to the subreddit, submit some interesting stuff, okay? I wanna come back and I wanna make these subreddit videos interesting because I do enjoy making them when there's interesting stuff in the subreddit. So let's get some interesting memes. Let's get some interesting takes, some new perspectives, some edits, some memes in the subreddit. And I'm gonna come back with a fierce vengeance and I'm gonna kill every single one of the I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop saying that. I'm not gonna kill anybody, all right? Bye.